I'm Caressa Jackson for Heart of the Home. We are here at the kitchen at Meadow Hall at the Meadow Event Park. Today, we're going to be making a fried cabbage and bacon dish. A lot of times people think that cabbage is just a side dish, but cabbage can be a great main dish. Cabbage grows in southwest Virginia, and this time of year you can find it all over your local farmer's market and fresh in your local grocer. Virginia is also famous for yummy bacon. Bacon's one of my favorite. Anything you can add bacon to, hand it over to me. So the first thing we're going to do is put our bacon in a medium-high skillet to start cooking. We're going to cook the bacon and we're going to leave the bacon drippage inside because that's what we will actually be cooking our cabbage in. I'm using about three slices cut in half, so that will make about six pieces for your pan. And while we're waiting on the fat to produce from the cooking of the bacon, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting up some of our cabbage. All right. So when we cut our cabbage, we just wanna make sure that we're not cutting the cabbage slices too small, like we're making coleslaw, but not way too big as if we were making a collard or kale green. So we will take one slice and cut it into fours the long way. And then we'll turn it around and cut it into thirds. So you'll get about an inch to an inch and a half slice. We're cooking a half a cabbage. Half a cabbage will give you a serving of about four. So our bacon is just about done. We want to take it out and set it to the side. A little known fact about this recipe is that I married into this recipe. My husband's family would always have fried cabbage at cookouts or family events, and I'm like, I got to know about this fried cabbage recipe. Uh, so his Aunt Lorraine actually taught me this recipe, and I doctored it up a little bit, um, and now it's going to be what you see before you. So we now have our bacon drippings in the pan. That's gonna give you some awesome flavor. And we want to add a little bit of onion to that. I chopped up about a quarter of an onion. I'm gonna add that to our grease now. And a couple of pinches of fresh minced garlic. that up and have it brown and we will add about a quarter cup of minced carrots I'm gonna get everything dredged in the oil And then you're going to add heaps of your cabbage on top. We will season it with a little herb roasted garlic. Fresh cracked salt and pepper. And we want to mix it all in. You want to make sure all of your cabbage has a little bit of the oil on it because that's what's going to help it cook down. If for some reason you feel like you don't have enough oil from your bacon to complete this recipe, add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And once you have it all mixed together, cover it up very tightly. And we're going to let that simmer for about 15 minutes. Here is an optional kick to this recipe. If you like to sweeten up your cabbage a little bit, we're going to add a little bit of fresh sugar. By this time, what you'll notice is that your carrots, 
and your onions are probably a bit crispy and that's how you know you're almost to the finish line. This is a great dish for a family meal, for family cookouts, if you're going to a potluck, anything you're doing in the spring or the summer, it's also great for holiday meals. So once we've done that, you can go ahead and turn off your stove and get ready to plate your cabbage. And we want to make sure not to forget the crispy bacon pieces that we made earlier and serve those right on top. So here you have it, Caressa's crispy fried cabbage with bacon on top. For Heart of the Home, I'm Caressa Jackson. Come and get it. Recipes from the Heart of the Home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafarmbureau.org.